So here's the LED pathway, uh, mostly mostly finished. I have a couple of tweaks. Had to do a repair today. Um, you can see we've got glass blocks, and as I walked up to it, it starts lighting up, and then it does a little pattern, and it lights up the walkway for me. It's great at night, but I wanted to film in the day to show you what's going on. Here is a motion sensor. It's a, what's called a PIR sensor, passive infrared. And that's what triggered it. And the shed, as I walk around it, I'll try to make it less bumpy for you. There's another solar outdoor light. You can see I've got three 15 watt panels on top. And then inside the shed, we've got what's called the charge controller, which is that box right there. And so what happens is the wires from the outside run to this charge controller here. Uh, this plug goes over to a three outlet splitter. And off of that splitter, you can see two USB cables coming off. And these cables go to power those LEDs outside. Off the charge controller, I've got a little tiny USB going to an Arduino here. And this is actually doing all the logic. Uh, so that Arduino has cables running off of it. They go up, it's a bit messy, I haven't quite cleaned them up yet. And you can see the purple, yellow, white, red cables go all the way to the back of the shed, and then they run outside. And we can also see here, this is showing the power draw. So it was up to 1.26 amps. Um, it's a 12 volt system, so that makes sense. It'd be just over 12 watts. Um, and uh, so it's not a terrible amount of power. And the fact that it goes down when uh, when there's no motion helps a lot. So the only thing that it's really drawing right now is the Arduino. Um, and so once I work to optimize that, I think I'll be able to run this system indefinitely with just the solar power that's coming in. Now, using the DC um, devices here, like these 12 volt uh, adapters going into the charge controller, I never have to switch over to AC, so I don't have to take a hit for an inverter. But if I wanted to go to more amperage, I have an inverter up here. This red thing, it's got a little switch on it. And if I switch that on, you can see it on the other side, it's just got outlets. Um, then I would be able to go uh, 10 amps or so if I wanted to power a ton more lights out there. But you can also see I take uh, about half a, half an amp, actually it's going up quite a bit, half an amp a hit for just having that on. So I'll turn that off to show. So this is why I kept everything DC, is you take quite a bit of a, a hit if you go AC and have to invert it. There we go. And that is my entire system. Thanks for watching.